What's going on guys, Geneva 9 back at you again today. Thank you guys for tuning in once again. On today's episode, I'm gonna be comparing the Rare Rally Art Clusters. That's right, they are, these clusters are super hard to find. They are discontinued and I happen to have most of them in hand right here. Stay tuned. So once again guys, thank you guys for tuning in once again. If you find this video helpful and just plain entertaining, smash that like button down below. It will greatly help out the channel. And most of all guys, press the subscribe button down below because we are on our way to 20K subscribers, which I have a great, great big giveaway. So on this video guys, um, I just wanna compare these rally art clusters. I know I've been getting a lot of DMs on my Instagram saying, hey, What's the difference between the S1, S2, S3, the UK Rally Art? I'm just gonna briefly explain to you each and every one of their characteristics, what's the difference, and pretty much what to look out for. Looking out for like the fake ones, what's the real legit looking ones, and so forth. So let's go dive in and look at these Rally Art clusters. I was very fortunate to gather most of them. I don't have all of them, but I do have most of them. So looking at the front here, we have the Rally Art UK version. So as you can tell, this look like the plain um, USDM ones that we got here in the US, which is right here. So this one is what actually came out of my Evo stock. So as you can tell, this one has, um, I put a carbon fiber face on it. Uh, right there, but you usually it looks like this face, but you can have the option you can put this uh, Bezel inside the carbon fiber version, which is totally up to you Which is also on this s3, which I'll get to you in a moment But right now this is the stock version as you can tell if you look right here This usually says Lancer, but I went and changed it up into evolution This came out I believe on the FQ uh, for the FQ series in the UK and they made a special one which is the rally art version in miles per hour and kilometers this one it will say Lancer and on right here if you look at right here which is kind of weird which I find it very weird um, even though it's not lit up you can still see the check engine the ABS and a little uh, silhouette of the other ones with so check oil the battery but you do see that authentic rally art symbol right there. To check authenticity, you always wanna check the serial number at the top, which is for these clusters, it has this serial number, the 507290H. Um, and then the, if you look at the stock USDM one, it has the, it has the 507560OH. And looking at the back on these things, so looking at the back, um, it is green. Uh, I don't know if it's green because they just flipped it over because if you flip this back over, it just looks like the regular ones like so. Because on the back of this, it is green. Maybe the plate was just misaligned or mis mis uh, misinstalled, but that's what it is. Regardless, you always want to check for that serial number at the top. Now this one, I just finished putting a brand new face. That's why there's no scratch here. I've taken really great care of this one because I was very fortunate to find this gem. All right, so that's that for comparison between the first one for the Rally Art FQ series for the UK and the regular version. But these are discontinued and they are still, uh, you can still find them, but not as hard to find as these bad boys behind them. So now we're looking at the super rare Rally Art gauge clusters that came off the Rally Art catalog way back when, which I wish that I actually jumped on these when they were a lot cheaper back in the day. What I have here is two S3s and two S1s. Um, unfortunately, I don't have the S2, but I will show you a picture of it shortly so that you can see what's the main difference only on those things so looking here in front of me is the s1 so let's start with the s1 compared with the s3 the s1 as you can tell have this face right here it has the rally art symbol it has the 48 liters it has still have the 
high mid low and it has the right there miles per hour and kilometers looking at all these what do you guys notice on all of them that's right just looking at them appearance wise they are cream white now there are a lot of fakes going around don't be deceived guys don't be fooled ones that are rolling around that these faces are actually pure white white as in like this envelope right here close to being white like that don't get those those are all a quick indication that they are fake rally art ones because they're prob they're probably just inserts insert gauge faces you always want to look for the cream white that's one characteristic that it is the authentic another one to look out for when you're look at when you're you're on the market for these is that you always want to look at the serial number at the top i have two s1s here and we can compare both serial numbers which so we know that it is the real serial number for the s1s 190010 190010 RA951 RA951 470s1 470s1 boom you know that they are authentic rally art gauge clusters for the S1. I wanted to show you that before I sh actually ship this off to the, the owners. This actually, this one is sold already. This one is still available guys. It's still um, up on the market. Uh, so if you guys are interested, hit me up on my Instagram. Check out my DMs and just DM me and say, hey, I'm interested. And you can have this bad boy right here. If you want a brand new face, original from the factory, I can replace that for you for an extra cost. But I highly suggest that you get it because it's highly worth it for this very, very rare piece right here. Another indication that it is a S1. If you look right here, here is the main indicator that it is a S1 just by looking at it. It says 48 on the fuel gauge. So right there, 48 means 48 liters. So the S1s came out on the market around October 2001 and it ran until February 2003. Now I got the information from doing my research and I went to Evo M and this very knowledgeable person um, found that information. So I, I don't take credit on that info. If you want to know about more of that info, I'll leave the link down below of where you can get all that information I'm getting here. Because research wise, it's very fine to track, it's very hard to find and track the history of these. Now, unfortunately, I don't have the S2. I have the S3s and the S1s. The S2, I'll show you on the very top right here that the S2 came with the same face, but the only difference right now, if you look right here, is that the fuel gauge has 55 liters on there. When I do come across the S2, I will make another video on comparison and show you guys what it looks like. Now I've seen one with the, uh, a S2, but I don't know if it's original or if it is actually real, but it just, if you look right here, they just put the sticker on top of the 48 saying 55. So comment in the section down below guys, if that's actually correct. I don't know, that's just rumor. I need to find out myself because I don't know if it's actually a real uh, printed or actually just a sticker. Let me know in the comment section below if that's real or not. I would like to know as well. Now the S2 version came uh, late in the market around 2003 and I don't know when it's actually the end of production on those but the next one that came out was the S3 and this came out specifically for the Evo 9s. S3s came out around uh, September of 2005. This was the very last one in production. These ran about for two to three years in production. That's why you can find more S1s versus the S3s. Now this is now these are all rare, but the S3 is the ultimate rare out of all of them. All of them are super hard to find, and I'm just fortunate enough to find all these myself. I'm actually double thinking about not selling this one because I really want to keep it so that I can have it all in my collection. Now what you're looking here is the S3. This personally is my S3. As you look at there, I was really, really fortunate to find this one. It was super hard, rare find, and it only has, guess what, how many um, mileage guys? It only has 5k kilometers on it. 
which is really really rare you can tell that this thing is even close to brand new um, this is not for sale that's why I'm planning to hold on to this one um, practically forever this is actually gonna be my the piece that I'm gonna put my final finishing touches for my Evo everything is done interior the power the engine everything's done this is my finale to put on there legit s3s the first thing that you'll notice again is that it has the rally art it's a cream faced and it says full on the gauge you want to look at the very top and again the code for the s3 is ra951 470 s3 190 I can't oh sorry I can't read it 190 040H so how do I know that's correct let's look at another S3 so another S3 right here says full and we'll look at right there RA951 19004H 470S3 now compare the two boom boom they are identical in serial number let me get both of them in focus for you now unfortunately guys this one is sold already to one of my good buddies um this is another immaculate piece what i like about this one is that it has the carbon fiber face now again that's not a fact that's not a standard that, that was actually just an option that you can do and put on there just like the one you can put on your regular uh, the regular one that came out but someday I think I'm planning to put that also on my S3 which is really nice it gives it that nice accent and yeah so that is all sold this is sold this is sold this is mine this is pending um, again I might keep this one for future use but again I am still on the hunt to get that s2 if you guys want to stick further to the video i'll go and hook up these i'll hook up one s1 and one s3 so you guys can see how it illuminates and what it looks like and also hook up my uk rally art version right here and we can compare all of them and see what it looks like illuminated all right guys again if you find this video super helpful Hit that like button down below guys and don't forget to subscribe. Let's go and hook it up on Mr. Evo. So unfortunately guys, I would hook, I would do a startup on this to see you so you guys could see the gauge warm up and the needle go up and down if I rev it. But look at that guys. Again, my engine bay is a disaster right now. I just temporarily put the battery right there. Um, it's not supposed to be oriented like that. But yeah, I don't even have a valve cover put on yet. I'm still getting all my bits and pieces um, installed, then get it tuned. So unfortunately, uh, that's uh, another bummer why we can't start this thing so you guys can see. But I can plug it up so you can see it illuminate. Oh, actually, I'm on the process of ripping all this off. But anyways, uh, coming back to topic, I took out my old cluster right here. And now we're going to hook up the UK rally art versions okay so this actually looks really nice guys when it's hooked up it, it looks very um, stealth inside uh, and you just see this once you see that rally art illuminate it just looks so gorgeous let's go turn this thing on right there boom so yeah it does look super nice guys so actually i, I thought it was 5k sorry guys i lied this has 29,000 on the speedometer and look at this right there boom so these actually are illuminated because I don't have all my bits and pieces connected. That looks super nice right there. The rally art is illuminated. Very discreet. I mean, it looks very stealth with all the black. And actually, I have a lot of people that prefer this compared to the S1, S3s. Even though the S3s are super rare. These are our mild, mild rare, <laughs> as you can say. But people prefer this one because it just looks 
it just matches the color of the car so let me know in the comment section below guys what you think of this uk rally art version and which you prefer this one or the s1 or s3 or s2 if you have them leave it in the comment section down below i'd love i would love to know guys now let's go connect the s1 wow yes this one is sold to a customer and yeah very lucky very nice very beautiful piece as you can tell again these uh, these are illuminated because yeah my car is not fully on and it has a lot of stuff missing on the engine that's why it's checking like that but usually when everything's gone that we should clear out but again it's on 300 kms 180 miles per hour okay so that is that check it out my lighting's kind of bluish but again i have some people that go um and change these lights to LEDs just to make it illuminate brighter but I don't I don't see it and I don't see any problem with it um, I kind of like the OEM style um, but I don't know who knows let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this S1 all right so let me disconnect this one and let's put the S3 on here is my personal S3 Let's put some juice on this one and let's see the difference between the S this one and the S1. Boom. This one only has 5000 KMs on it. Still, you have the same as the S1. You have the um, the reading on the temp gauge which is 50, 85, 125. Now the only difference that you see here now is that it is saying full on the fuel gauge still rally art still has the high mid low got the mileage boom still at 300 kms and it's still reading 180 miles per hour on the reading now i know a lot of people have been asking what's the difference what's the what what what's why is it so priced differently like the s1 s3 why is it so different you know what's the main difference on them to be honest with you guys, the, there are no difference other than the S1, the S1, S2, S3 saying 48 liters, 55 liters and full on the fuel gauge. Mechanically wise, they are all the same guys. Don't get, don't get um, caught up on the hype that just because one of them says 48, 55, they are all rare items in my heart. It's just that the S3 is a little more rare because it was made on one year only uh, for the evo 9s but overall guys if you own one of these pieces they are a gem and they are collector's items the the evos are oh they are gone then they're, they're not making these evos anymore so the more and it's getting older and older by the minute so these parts right here if you own one you're very lucky and they will only go up in price so so don't be surprised if you know if they are super expensive because these are collector's items guys so there you have it guys here are all the clusters that i mentioned on this video there it is so yeah guys that's all the rally art clusters that i have so far on my collection um again uh the, two of those are already sold the s1 and the s3 i have one s1 left so that's pretty much I wanted to make this video because um, I don't know if I'm gonna have all the clusters most of the clusters here all at once on this video and I did miss out on one cluster that I was talking about which was the CT9A for the, the wagon version the one with the automatic gauge now that I'll, leave, I'll show you in the picture right now this one is actually an S1 but it was made for the Evo wagon, which is actually still capable and still you can still use it for the manual or the automatic version for the, the wagons. It is gonna be with my possession soon, I hope. When it does come, I'm gonna review that as well. That cluster is actually for sale, I have that. Um, I can get you that one if you are interested. It is on the way, so DM me on my Instagram. I post it on my stories a lot. Um, when I, when these clusters come up, I post it up there for sale. So don't be afraid. DM me, message me on my my um, on my email. So again, guys, if you found this video super helpful, um, hit the, and smash that like button down below. 
and please press that subscribe button so you guys can always be in tune on what's going on with my evil build i have a very very special surprise for you guys next week um hopefully it'll be in today and i can't wait to show you guys i'm super excited guys stay tuned for that again make sure you check out my website genevo9.com pop some of my merch support the brand support um the movement evolve movement thank you guys so much for always supporting me supporting my videos um, supporting my business thank you so much for all the love that i get on my dms i'm getting a lot of messages so and i can't unfortunately i can't reach them all at once at one time i get super busy it might take me a while but i do find time to answer each and every one of your dms and i'm sorry if i missed any of that but um, i will get to each and every one of your guys' messages because i do get a lot of messages today and it gets pretty pretty um busy so please bear bear with me and i will get to you keep evolving keep hitting up your projects see you in the next video stay safe stay healthy see you next time